Hello makeup lovers and welcome to my channel. My name is Helen and I'm 43 years old and I live in Derbyshire in England and this is my very first YouTube video so please bear with me and um, hopefully I will improve things as I go along. Um, so let's get straight to it. So the reason why I'm uploading this video today is I want to do like a bit of a journal for myself and for other people to get involved with as well. Um, it's about my makeup journey. Um, I've never really bothered with makeup before. Um, the most I used to go for was uh, a different coloured lip. I love unusual lipsticks. And um, as you probably guessed, different coloured hair. Um, I never used to wear foundation, uh, didn't know what primer was and contour. As you can see, I still don't do contour. But I will get to that eventually. <laughs> um, I never even used to pluck my eyebrows. That's how bad it was. Okay. So during lockdown, um, obviously it was a depressing time for everybody. And unfortunately, I had a I had a back injury, so it meant I had to have five months off work. And during that time, as you can imagine, I was in a bad place. I was really, really depressed. I didn't want to do anything at all. I was in too much pain. And uh, it was just while so looking on YouTube, I came across a lady called ba Bailey Sarian, and she does a murder mystery and makeup Monday, obviously on a Monday. And what it involves is she tells a true, tra true can't say it, true crime story as she's getting ready and putting a full makeup on. And it's amazing to watch. I don't know how she could do it. I'm struggling to talk now just to a camera, but to do your makeup at the same time, it blew me away. And she's she makes it look so easy. And that is what got me hooked in the first place. Because um, I didn't know how to blend eyeshadows. The only time I did an eyeshadow was one eyeshadow. That, that's the only one I owned. And it was a silver one. I just used to go, done. I didn't know about blending, halo eyes, cut crease. No idea what they were. Um, but I've always loved to see really nice artistic eyes. I've, I've loved it ever since when I was little, little. When I was younger, watching uh, Child Culture QVC, and they used to like do demos of the new eye products, and I used to used to be blown away by it. So actually being able to watch YouTube channels of people doing the makeup was brilliant, and it got me inspired. And I bought a makeup palette. It was actually a Too Faced collab with um, Kat Von D. Uh, it was the Better Together, the, the two hearts, you know, the two, a heart shape that's separate and then comes together, if you understand what I mean. Um, so that was my very first palette that I bought. Since then, I think I've bought a lot. <laughs> you could say I've got a little bit of an obsession going now with eyeshadow palettes. Yes, the postman loves me, um, but the, the, my favourite palette of all is, it's got to be, it's got to be Bailey's, because she's the lady that got me into makeup in the first place, because without her, I, I don't know if I could have got out of that depress, depression that I was in. Um, I was really at my lowest, and through having something to distract me, and something that I could do whilst I was ill, because you can sit down and do your makeup, you can lay down, you, you know, you can just do it at your leisure. And even though I wasn't going anywhere, it didn't matter because I could be as flamboyant as I wanted or just learn. And quite a lot, it looked bad, but I weren't going anywhere, so it didn't make any difference to me. I, I just enjoyed having a go. And since, since doing that, um, I've joined an online makeup academy called Girl Meets Brush and I've learned so much from them and it is an amazing amazing academy to join uh, I've got quite a few certificates already and it's just an online course that you can go at your own pace because now I've started work again uh, obviously I need that flexibility um, so you can do that you can do it on with it being online you don't have the restrictions because of the covid pandemic um, so it's it's really really good to do okay so this video that i'm doing now is i'm going to de dedicate it to bailey 
obviously because she's the one that got me into it in the first place. Um, so I'm going to show you her palette and I've got it here. So you come in with this beautiful box, it's called Venice Fling and it was a collab with Estate Cosmetics. Um, I hadn't heard of Estate Cosmetics before and I've noticed a lot of people are saying that but they do, do some really nice um, little highlighters and I think they're in a lot of the like birch box boxes that you get. I think they, they tend to collab with people like that, certain. Um, but yeah, that I've got, I think it's called Jewel Me. I've got the little highlight, little circle one and it is beautiful, really pretty. So check out the State Cosmetics as well. Okay, and with this, yeah, I've just double checked. It's actually vegan and it's cruelty free, which is good to know. Okay, and it's very high pigmented as well. Okay, so I'll show you the actual product. Okay, so here we go. So obviously it's the same as the cover, but yeah, it's Venice, Venice Fling um, with all the beautiful palm trees. Now I know some people uh, were a little bit disappointed um, that it didn't have anything to do with their Monday channel, you know, the mystery makeup on Mondays channel <laughs> uh, but it's all quite nice and summery uh, and it was because um, she actually did this collaboration before she came up with the Monday idea so there's nothing in here that says you know like blood and guts or anything like that or true crime it's not related at all to it um, it's all to do with Venice, Venice Beach which apparently is a very special place for Bailey uh, I think she goes out for her birthdays so it's all to do with her memories of such a beautiful place and a lot of the um, the pans are called something that's really heartwarming towards her. Okay, so let's have a look. I'll try not to blind you. I'll do if I do it like this because there's a mirror. I'll try not to blind you. Okay, so look how beautiful they are. As you can see, I've had <laughs> quite a good go at the purple one because purple is my favourite colour, you may have noticed. And when I looked at it, I was just like, whoa, <laughs> it's such a pretty, pretty, pretty palette and a palette that I can use. Because sometimes when you get like an out there palette, you can't really use it for everyday wear. Now this you can use for everyday wear, going out, whatever, or staying in like I, I normally do. <laughs> so I'll talk you through it. So now what have we got? We have four mattes. They're the matte ones and five shimmers. Sorry, I should get in focus better. And there's the shimmers. And um, so it's nine pans. So this lovely, lovely, lovely yellow one is called Sol. And it's like a yellow gold. Now I know a lot of people are having problems with this, but it not showing up as much as what you expect it to. And what I do is I actually wet the brush and dab it and then I use it. If I just take my glasses off, you can probably just see. That's what I've used in the inner corner of my eye. In fact, I'll leave my glasses off, then you can see better. I can't see, but you can see. Um, so yeah, so that is that beautiful shimmery corner, corner of my eye colour that you can see there. And this one here, because I've took my glasses off, I'm going to have to look down here. It's called Bonfire. And this is such a pretty, pretty corally shade. Um, at first I thought, now will it suit me or not? And I used it as like a, a base. And it's so, so pretty. You could just use it on its own. It's that pretty and that nice. Okay. And the next one is Rose Tattoo. And this one is like an, an orangey red. And it's a really, really nice one. Uh, I don't think, no, I haven't used this on, on my eye today. Uh, so, so far I've used Sol, corner of my eye bonfire just as an all over and then what we've got next tan lines now tan lines that is beautiful it's as you can imagine it's like a tan color uh, and i just put that a little bit just over here just to go on and then i went over that with uh, ocean avenue this is a beautiful shimmery champagne gold i don't know if you can quite see it but yeah, it, it really looks nice. As you can see, it's on my eyes there. It does really shimmer really nicely. Okay. 
and then uh, the end one is called toasty and that is a terracotta can't say it terracotta color and again that's a lovely rich color okay so we come up to the purple my favorite and i refrained from doing a full purple eye because i always do purple eyes because it's my favorite color so today i didn't actually use uh what's it called roller skates i just did it just underneath just there just to give it a little bit something and so i've got purple on. <laughs> okay and the next one is i love this name it's called puppy love it's a, a ready rusty warm color um again it's a shimmer and that is what i've used for the the other part the outer part of my eye there you go and for the very end this one i can never work out what colour it is. It, when I first saw it, I was a bit like, I don't know if I like it or not. Put my glasses back on. I wasn't certain if I'd like it or not, but when you put it on, it's so pretty. It's what I used in the corner of my eyes, just to give it a bit more pop. And it's called Venice Fling. And it's more like a, a black and silver mixed together, a shimmer. And that is very, very pretty. Okay. So that is the pants. So what I'm going to do is attempt a swatch. So I've never done a proper swatch before. So <laughs> bear with me. This could go horribly wrong. Okay. So I got this swatch. Look how pretty that is. And it's from a company called Swatch Perfect UK. And it's just like a sticker. So I'm just going to undo a corner <laughs> I've got no fingernails and trying to do a sticker ah there we go so I've just lifted it up okay so it said to prime your arm first so I'm gonna use my Too Faced shadow insurance primer because I'm thinking it's eyeshadow so it's eyeshadow primer so I'm just gonna prime my arm Sorry, I know you can't really see this, but I'm sure you know what a primer on an arm looks like. So I'll just do that. Just wipe my hand so I don't get it everywhere. Okay, so find that corner. Ooh. I need not to rip it. It's, it's like plastic. I know I could have just done like a swipe on my arm, but I thought, no, it's, all right, if we're going to do it, do it perfect, you know. And plus, Bailey has a lot of rose tattoos. Um, one of the pans called Rose Tattoo as well. So I kind of had to do it. So I'm just going to stand up so you can see it better. So my pasty white arm so if I pop it there Ooh. well that went on easier than I expected it don't, <laughs> don't know what it's going to be like when I take it off <laughs> okay so get the palette in front of me and I'll call out the names as I go along I've got a little brush cleaner is you just do that they are amazing absolutely amazing and um, the brush that I'm using is from Glamlight it's part of their candy cane trio of brushes and I got it in the latest holiday foodie box that they do uh, I will upload a video about Glamlight um, because their products are absolutely out of this world. Uh, I've literally bought all of them. They are so beautiful. Anyway, I'll get on with the swatch. So I'll go in the order like I explained earlier. So the first one is going to be the bright yellow. So I, like I say, I've never done one of these before. So please bear with me if it goes horribly wrong. There we go, I'm just making sure. So I'll go on the outer edge. Just put more on my brush. Not 
showing up all that much but again this is the one that does cause problems so what I will do is when I've finished doing them all I'll wet my brush and I will show you you know just a quick swatch what it's like so the next one is the bonfire uh, we'll do that here oh there you go so that's just one coat and that's two that looks very pretty already just write my brush down okay so the next one is tan lights uh, I'll come in here. I'm like working out the way in. And the next one is going to be Ocean Avenue. Hmm, decision, decisions. I'll do it next to that one because it's colours I would put together. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Don't know if you can see it shimmering up. And then the next one is toasty. Can't even say it, toasty. <laughs> and I'll pop that over here. I feel like I'm just going down one side at the time. That one. Another layer on. That's pretty. When I've got it in focus and you can see it's pretty. <laughs> okay, so my favourite, the purple. I'll pop that in there. There we go. So then next is Puppy Love. See how rich that one is. And the last one is Venice Fling. I'm going to do that in a few of the end bits and then I'm going to do what I said, you know, with saw. Okay. So I'm just going to wipe my brush. I'm doing the middle bit, I'm not doing a dabbing motion. You can see already it looks different. Whoa. So yeah, that were the original soul and that is the normal soul so i'm just going to move this out of the way okay so now i'm going to try and take this off <laughs> don't want to come off now whoa pretty Pretty that is. So yeah, the the sole there you can hardly see, but then when you there, you can really, really catch it, can't you? It's a lot nicer. 
a lot nicer and the puppy love and you can see the, the sparkle um that roller skates and puppy love amazing I'm quite impressed with that <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to sit back down again now. I've got my new tattoo. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so that's that swatch done. So now you may have noticed these. <laughs> now, don't judge, but I did them myself, so that's why they're not like perfect or anything like that. But Bailey also has uh, a collaboration with uh, a company called Loud Lacquer, and yeah, she's got two sets out, so I'll just quickly show you those sets. So the first one, this one was for the uh, Murder Mystery Makeup Monday. So that's better. So they're all names associated to that channel. So this first one is beautiful mustard yellow, and that one's called Nay Nay I Say. <coughs> And the next one along, excuse me, frogging my throat. The next one is a black. And as you can see, I've got that one there. And it's um, it's like a black with red flecks. It's really pretty and has like a funny texture feel to it. Oh, I should show you that I'm wearing that one as well. There we go. And this one, pointed to it with the correct finger, uh, is red rum. And it's a lovely, lovely red see and I have I'm not actually wearing this one this one's called Suspish it is one of my favorite ones and it's got like black and black and white I think silver flecks in it and well there's a lot of flecks in each brush stroke amazing highly recommend all of them and the next one is a newish new est <laughs> collaboration with loud lacquer and uh, this one is called Aquatafauna range. Again, uh, it was actually due to a channel, uh, one of the, I can't speak. It was, it was actually on one of her episodes on her channel, the Murder Makeup Mystery Mondays, the, about the Aquatafauna. So check that out on YouTube. And so we'll go on with this first one. Uh, that one is, I forgot what it's called. Gold one is called Antidote. And it's like a rich, rich, creamy gold. That is beautiful. I don't normally like gold colours, but that is beautiful. The next one is called uh, Belladonna. And it's like a, a greeny, turquoise, turquoise colour, when I can speak. And again, that is really, really pretty. And this one, this has got to be my favourite. It's uh, called, uh, that one's called Gilia. That's it. I've completely forgotten. Um, and I should remember because it's Gilia Tafana. <laughs> Sorry. And I think that's how you pronounce it. I do apologise if it is pronouncing it a different way. And this one is one of my favourites because it's purple. And it looks like, you know, Cadbury's chocolate. It looks like that colour purple. And at the end there, we've got beautiful gold flakes. It's almost like um, like glitter rather than big flakes. And this one's called Saint. And I think that's after, after a dog because Bailey's got a pit bull called Saint. who's absolutely adorable. Okay, so that's the Bailey range done. Also with Loud Lacquer, I love all of them i really do and so i've got some other ones i'll just quickly show you and um, because well two of them are what i'm actually wearing um so this first one is called psa and it's this green color and it's what i'm wearing there and it's like a, a bit like a psychedelic mushy pink color <laughs> that's the only way to explain it but yeah i, I loved it as soon as i saw it i like, need that one and then we've got this one, and this one's called Denim, Denim, Denim. And there you go. Lovely blue colour. Really is lovely blue. And uh, this one I haven't got on my finger, so I can't show it yet. But it's called Steffi. Now, 
this is like this is fish with the the flex and it's white pink like girly pink and then a dark pink and this one's launched um, to raise money for cancer research i think it's for a specific breast cancer research trust and so i had to have that obviously um, and obviously all the, the money that they made went to as part of the donation for that so i love that and again beautiful all the, all the toppers are amazing on every color they just go with anything okay um, obviously my t-shirt <laughs> if you know bailey it's <laughs> i shouldn't really do that um, but yeah it's uh, part of her merchandise and it's uh, merch labs um, they are, are i'll say it again they are her official sponsored you know merchandise place so anything else might not be official if you get it elsewhere okay so um i think well, that's about it really for today um thank you so much for watching and being patient with me um uh, this is my first time like i say doing anything like this um i hope to be a, a lot better in the future and um, i'm just really pleased that i can share my makeup journey with somebody and if you can hear him meowing, that is my cat Phoenix waiting for her dinner. So I think he ought to go and get it before she claws me. <laughs> okay, so thank you ever so much for, for watching me. Uh, please like and subscribe. And next time uh, I wanted to review, uh, well, that's my cat again, the Girl Meets Brush Palette range. Uh, they have four beautiful palettes. So what I'll be doing is I'll do a palette per video because I think that's only fair because there's the quite big palettes and I have money off codes for those as well so that's another reason why I want to share them with you so you can get some money off um, beautiful palettes so thank you very very much for being patient with me and I hope to see you soon thank you very much bye